Hi there, it's Karen here. Welcome back and we're back to working on our ballet journal. Haven't worked on this on a, in a few weeks. So it's nice to get back to it and I have an idea of what I want to do today, which is always good. Um, not that I'm sure about, I haven't gone through the whole thing in my head, but I know roughly where I want to start and roughly what I want to do. But first of all, I think, um, I feel I should apologise. I haven't done Roxy's Weekly Challenge this week. A couple of reasons for that. Um, if you've watched her video, um, or if you haven't, um, you you might know that she used um, some of her antique letters to fold up. The ones that, that she used have got an, an address and you fold it up in such a way, tuck it all in and you end up with the address on the front. Looks like a little envelope, but it's all the letter all tucked up inside. And there's you open it up and you can journal on the back. That's the idea. And she decorates and they're really lovely what she's made. And I'd be more than happy to do it, but I didn't have any of the kits that she used. The only I have got an antique letters kit, um, but it's kit number four, and I think all the ones she used came from one kits one to three when I looked at them. And I had a good look at the kit that I've got, and none of the letters seem to have the same setup in that where they've got an address that you can fold it up and it appears in the position on the front that you need, however you fold it. And I probably could have tried folding them in such a way that I could tuck them in, but they wouldn't have looked right because there was just, you know, they were just letters. There was no address or anything on any of them. Um, and to be honest, I didn't feel like buying another kit just in order to be able to do the challenge. I have done that occasionally in the past if it's something I thought I'd use again. But as I have one antique letters kit, and I've got a few... I've got so many other ephemera kits from other makers, none of which have the same things in them. Um, I decided that on this occasion I I will I won't do the do the challenge. But there was another reason as well, in that as I've mentioned in previous videos, I've been having issues with my printer. Um, in that I only have to print, you know, I don't know, half a dozen uh, papers and it jams. It's the the, the carriage of the the cartridge carriage keeps jamming and I have to keep cleaning it and moving it along and and it's just been driving me up the wall so I have now bought a new printer but we didn't get round to installing it till last night um, and it comes with a very very small ink cartridge and because I was trying to actually print off another kit that I want to use for or bits of which I'd like to use for this video and for future ballet videos um, and I'd only managed to print off part of that kit. I wanted to finish that kit, so I used whatever ink I had in this new printer. I've used it all up, printing the rest of the the other kit. So I wouldn't have been able to to print off any of the um, antique letters and try and play with them to see if they would work anyway, because I didn't actually have access to that printer till last night. So <clears throat> that is why I have not done a Rocky's Weekly Challenge this week. Um, well, this will be going up, what day is it today? It's Monday. So this will be going up on Friday. So it will be that by the time you, you see this, the Wednesday will have passed and um, there was no Roxy's Weekly Challenge. So and I'm sorry about that. I do hope to do next week's. Um, at the moment, I can't print anything off because I have no ink left in my new printer. But the wonderful thing is that I have tried it and it does print borderless. Woohoo! So um, all the all the papers I'll be using in the immediate future have still got the borders on. But anything new I'm printing off, no borders. Woohoo! So <clears throat> having said that, let us make a start. So this is the, the last thing we, we made. I love this page. I just like sitting and looking at it. It's my fave. I really love how this looks and how it folds out and everything with the envelopes. I really love it. <clears throat> but um, but we'd only done this side. So I actually went ahead. I think it must have been while I was having a little bit of a break over the wedding and COVID period. And I finished this side as well just because I thought, Get that done, then we can move on to a new one. So the page I used, I've got a couple of them, I think. So I can show you what it what it was. I think that's one I've got another one of. I'm not sure. And I've got two of something else. Nope. <clears throat> well, it was... It's actually really pretty because it had all this around the side. This was from a stampier paper. If I take that out, 
you can see it had all this down the side and it was just plain on the one side and I didn't want to cover all this up so I've just left it I put on one of the pockets that I'd already made and I added a journal card in there in this pocket here I've got a journal card from the Natty and Moon kit on here that's in the if you can, whoops, if I show you, there's a pocket here, and then this is also from one of the. I took, I just tore this from one of the bigger pages from the same kit, from the Natty and Moon kit, just because, again, like with the Tracy Fox kit, the papers have really big um, ballerinas on them, too big to use in their entirety. So I just tore the top of her, and I think she looks really nice there. So that goes in this pocket here. And then I took one of the cards from the Stamperia paper pad, one of the journal cards, just to tuck in behind. And that's that. So I'm, I'm really happy with that. And I've, I see I did some trim and some broderie lace, broderie anglais trim here, another bit of trim, and some of these um, rose trim that I used the same on here. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this one. Please how this turned out as well. I think it looks really pretty. I think I did a little bit of extra. I think I'd already done all this. I think, yes, I'm sure I had. Um, but I made the pocket. <clears throat> so that's one done. Because I thought today we might want to move on to a new page. I don't know yet if the, <clears throat> I've just pulled one out that's plain. Um, and the kit that I've been printing off um, that I thought I could use in this journal, um, I was watching a recent, some recent series of videos that Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah was making, and she was using, she sort of launched, even though it had been, she'd had it for quite a while on her Etsy shop, a kit called, um, I think it's just called Essential Basics Kit, but, or um, Basic Journal Kit or something like that, which is a multi-page um, kit with lots and lots of ephemera that you could use in any diff many different ways. And I was watching this video, she was making a folio, so you may have seen her videos making this folio with this lovely kit. And I was watching it and I'm thinking, that looks familiar. I think I've seen, I've seen some of those things. I think I've got some of those things. And I had a quick look and I thought, yeah, I've got the kit. I had the kit, I'd printed a few pieces off of it and I'd, I'd used it a little bit and completely forgotten I had it. <clears throat> and I was looking at her making things, I thought, well, actually, some of those papers would work really well in this journal. So that's the kit I've been printing like mad. And it's if you saw her video, you know it's a really massive kit. Um, I don't think I, even now I haven't printed it all, but I've printed a lot of the ephemera. <clears throat> and I've printed pretty much all of the papers, even though they weren't all work for this this journal, I don't think. But I'll just show you the ones I've picked out that I think would work quite well because we've got the really lovely pinks and, and sort of gold colours and there's a little bit of blue. There's a lot of blue, quite dark blue. And I've, I've pulled those pages out. Um, I've printed them, but I'm not going to use them. They're a bit too much, a bit too dark a blue for this journal. But a lot of these pinky ones, I mean, I'd, a bit of blue is fine because we've got blue in the journal, but I didn't want it to be predominantly blue. <clears throat> so... I've got this one. This one is a bit bluer, um, but there's lots of paler bits in between and I could just pick bits out if I wanted to. So I was thinking I might collage some of the background papers back, and so, you know, just to work on. So there's that one <clears throat> and there's this one. So well, these are ideal for just tearing down, taking bits, but there's lots of lovely, and there's lots of these uh, frame things and things in the kit that also be quite good and bits of ephemera, all sorts, be quite nice to use, I thought. <clears throat> so there's this one, it also comes with loads of roses and um, in the, in the uh, fussy cuts. And there's a paler blue here, which we can use, I think. And this one here. Again, I'm thinking I'll probably use bits of these. This is a lovely one. And another one. So 
there's a fair bit of blue, but I like all the scripty bits and, you know, so we can use little bits of the blue and uh, without it being too much, hopefully. And then we've got this one. I mean, these are just the ones I've picked out. It's about half of, of all, all the kit. And then there's there's some more sort of generic papers, like a lot of these old letters and things and bits of ephemera that she's made into a really nice page. And then this one. And um, there's quite a few pages that have got bits of music on them, music, um, that sort of these kind of music, so that's definitely, definitely, this would be a really good one for this journal. This one makes a nice background paper, and then there's this one, which has also got a lot of music in it. So, yeah, so there's lots of papers there that I thought would be really useful. And, I mean, I'm only going to use a fraction of it, I'm sure. But it, it might pop up on different papers, different pages um, on this journal. Um, but today I'm going to try and do something with some of the Stamperia paper. And I might do some collaging in the background. I want to see until I've decided what I'm going to use and how I'm going to put it together. Um, I don't know whether I'll use any of that or not. I'm not even sure if this is the one I'm going to use. It's just it's the most neutral one. So I thought it'd be a good starting point, but I might use one of the more colourful ones. Let's see what would go. Because I haven't got a huge number of these papers left, which is which is very good. I know I've got bits of them, but I have used some of it. So this one is the front page. So in case, as a reminder, and you can't really see it all, but this is called Passion, the Stamperia pad I'm using. And so I want to strip a, about the same width. Where's my paper gone? Roughly the same width, not quite as wide, because obviously I don't want to cover up the holes, um, as this paper, and slightly longer, so I'm going to just do the whole length. So this one might work. Actually, it's not bad. I think she would just about fit. She might lose the tip of her foot, but... um. I probably would have to cut a little bit off there to clear, make sure the holes are cleared. And I think I'd rather cut off a little bit of foot than a little bit of this area. <laughs> so that's a pos definitely a possibility, that one. This one, I think it's a bit too... It's not got enough of a pattern on it for me. What I like about the other one is it's got a lovely backing on it as well because we're going to be doing flipping up and flipped up and flip down thingy. I'll show you when we get to it what we're making. It's <clears throat> so this is another really pretty one. She's quite doesn't take up quite as much space height wise but she's quite wide this way which is not really what I'm looking for. Might be able to use that another time and flip her out or something. But on this occasion, I don't think she's quite right. So, she'd need to be about there. So I'd have to cut off, basically cut off her feet for her to fit. Which would be okay, I suppose. It's not terrible, but not quite the right shape for me. And obviously, there's all the tags. This is, this is the other one I was considering as a possibility, because it's a nice central picture because I'm going to be taking it and cutting it in half or not completely in half but but the width is again it's quite wide but I suppose you could I could take off a little bit either side of the dress uh, hard to know I think possibly that would be I think this is the one I think I'd like to use. Hoping it's going to work out. <clears throat> I'll tear that down, take that off. I'm quite pleased that there seems to be you know, not too many of these pages left, so I have used a, quite a bit of it. I know there's odd, a lot of scraps as well, but at least I'm able to use some of the some of these more difficult pieces. That's that's what I'm quite pleased about, just because. It's quite good to have a bit of a break from doing something like this because I want every page almost to be a unique 
work of art on its own, if you see what I mean. You know, something different about it, something interesting. So I have to think about it quite a bit. So having a break, I've come back with, you know, and I've been watching videos and I'm getting some ideas and inspiration. And then I can come back and I've got a new idea of what I want to do with this, which is handy. So, oh, I've got to try and get my big trimmer out now. Listen, Richard came in here yesterday and, and did and hoovered up my floor because my floor gets in a horrible mess. Um, but <laughs> he moved my box that I keep this in out of my reach, so in order to be able to hoover around, of course. And uh, so I had to retrieve it from its dark corner. Right, so I think I'll probably cut it down, but I think I'll cut it to the edge of um, each side of the dress first and then see where, it, where I need to cut it. I've got a nice piece here that I could use. The other, you know, some of these nice strips would be great for side tucks and things and I haven't done anything like that yet. I have many options for side tucks and belly bands and things. So let's go here. So this will be too wide, but I'd rather start that way and then work out what I need and where I need to take it off. If I want it there, so I'm going because I'll have to do it in a, in a bit here. So I'm going to take a bit more off this side. I'm just going to have to work my way in so that I get it the right width. I don't because I want it to be. I want this to be in the centre. So I don't want to cut too much off one side. And, and I want to keep it even. The bits I cut off, I want the same amount taken off on each side and, until I get it where I want it. It's a bit hard to figure out quite where you need it to be. I'm not measuring, but uh, you can you can tell by eye roughly if it's this, the right width. So we're not far off actually. I might take a little tiny bit more off this side, and I think that might be enough because I can see I've got more dress on this side than on this side. So I can afford to take a little bit more off here. I want the dress right in the middle and I want it just inside the um, sewn edge. So that's about it. Now I need to decide, I haven't, I've been trying to decide whether to have it abutting, joining in the middle, or whether to have it overlapping a little bit. So I could Yes. If I cut it there and then I could bring it down to there and um, lift it up and you've got this which will flap down. Yeah, I think that would be the best way to do it. I don't really want to cut the dress because if I overlap it, I'll lose half of it, won't I? So I'm just trying to figure out, I know roughly what I want to do, but it's just the actual logistics of how I'm going to make it work. So I think I'm going to cut it across here. Because otherwise it'll be right down at the bottom, won't it? And this won't be a big enough flip, flap, <laughs> whatever. Ideally I'd keep this as a whole piece. But I, that's not quite how I want it. I'm going to turn the camera off a minute and have a think because I don't want to cut and then regret what I've done by 
by making a decision too quickly. I want to really work out. Now I've got the piece because I didn't really know what I'd end up using. Now I've got it. I need to make sure I get it right. Just one moment, I'll be right. All right, I'm glad I took a moment to have a think about it because I've realised that my original idea of overlapping them or or joining them and tying them, and, you know, flipping out, flipping up, all this, that's not quite going to work with this piece because of the way it's... Um, the way the picture is. So what I've decided to do is to cut it across here and make this into a pocket and then have this just overlapping the po pocket and doing a bit of a, <clears throat> um, a policy closure. So I can still undo it, flip it up and then we'll work on do something else inside. So first I'm going to cut it here. So I really didn't want to lose all of this. That's what it came down to. So, cut it out there. Right. <clears throat> and that will go there, and we'll do a little, just a very small thumb notch to make it clear that's a pocket. Make sure it's in the middle. I rarely get that right, but you never know. But kind of more or less in the middle, I reckon. Yep. Okay, that's fine. And we can bring this down a bit so it just overlaps. So you don't see the pocket. And then I need to... Actually, it could come down a little bit more, I think. It's about there. And then we're going to need to... I want to fold it, so I'm going to lose a little bit at the top here. So I think, let's see, if I fold it about here, I need enough to anchor it to the background. So I'm going to have to trim it off. The obvious place would be to trim it here, but I'm not sure that's going to give me quite enough, so I'll just trim it a little bit higher than that. <clears throat> and then we're going to do a... I'm going to score it. See where do we want to score it? I don't need this to be too low. I think I'll have to score it. Mm -hmm. I think I'll have to do it about there. And get away with it there. A little mark just to see how far that would bring down bring down the um, the flap. So that was about there, so I'm gonna want it to be about here. So I'm gonna make it a little bit low. I think that is a little bit low really. Yeah, I'll have to bring it down a little bit more than that. <clears throat> Sadly, I'm going to lose a bit of the ribbon, but not too much, hopefully. I'm going to do it about here, I think. Oops, this keeps twisting. That might work better if I have it the right way up. Actually, I think I need to... Oh, no, it is going to fold that way, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> then we're going to fold it. I probably could have, didn't need quite as much as this, but I want to make sure it's well anchored. All right. Okay, let's see. We've got that. It's 
going to go there, make sure it's inside the, the holes. Pop it there. Flap, make sure it's pruned. It's got to be lined up. There we go. And this will flip up. So let me see if this if there may be some other background piece where I don't really need to decorate it. It might be look a bit too busy if I decorate this piece with all this other kit. It might be just a bit too much. So <clears throat> I've got a collection of other back other background pages that I could choose from. Let's see which ones would look look better. I think this one would be quite nice actually. That would look quite good on there. It's a nice colour. It's not one of the um, Stamperia papers. Let's get rid of this. Uh, no, this isn't one of the Stamperia papers but it does turn in quite well with them. So that would be quite nice. Flipping up. Yeah, that would work. Green, not so much. This would also work reasonably well, but uh, no. This is a Stamperia one. Obviously, that would go. But I am tempted to go with this. It's a little lighter. This is quite a bright colour, quite a bold colour. Maybe not that one. Not that one. This is the other Stamperia one that I could use, which would also, I think, work quite well. It's got a nice bit of script. Yeah, that would look good. I think, actually, I will go with my first choice. I do rather like that. Okay. So, <clears> the <throat> first thing I want to do, I mean I might put a little bit of something on the background there, so it's not completely decorated, but the first thing I need to do is do my holes for the policy closure. Um, I think, what do I need? I need a little... I need my pokey tool. Pokey tool, where are you? Mm. Never find the things that I want when I want them. I had it in my a book binding bag with my with my awl. Remember taking it now. I took it to Hannah so that she could um, poke another hole in her sandals for the bedding. <laughs> she the straps were too long. She needed another hole, so I took a collection of pointy things so we could make another hole. That's why that was in my little book binding bag. So, what we need to do, make sure that's lined up. I'll just get a pencil, I think, and make sure it's in a straight line. So, we want it in the middle, so we want it lined up with this. So I think, I think the top one should be about here. And I just want to make sure the bottom one lines up with it. So I need to put that in before I put the pocket on. Put that about there. So they'll be quite close to each other. Can't be helped, but it's a good a good way to join them. I hope it works out. Don't do this very often. And I need something to poke into. Put an old book down there. I can I've used before. So I just need 
need a couple of a couple of circles from some cardstock. It's quite thick this cardstock, so oh. move it in there. And Oh, I lost a bit, but I don't think that's a problem because I'm going to cover them. I've got my cut-off strips and I thought it'd be nice to, to have some matching paper for these. I don't really like the card, the uh, craft card look. I like them to turn in. Look at that one. Um, this edge off so I can get the pattern. Gosh, they're a bit big, aren't they? I wonder if I should go with a smaller size actually. They're massive. I don't need them that big. Let's see if I can find a smaller punch. I'm hoping it will work with this little one. I really don't think. I don't think those really big ones are quite right for the space. Yeah, that I think that would be better. And I just have to try and <coughs> get tooth because it need they need to be reasonably thick. Otherwise it won't be strong enough. Okay, come on. <laughs> I'll fi find it in a moment. It flew. Right. Let's see if we can get, get this to work. Right. So I'll save these for another time. And should glue these together. Right, I've got those two. I had to punch another one because this one had look, I hadn't quite punched it properly circular. Lost a bit at the edge. I'm just going to give them a quick ink, I think. Because I think they just need that to make sure they're clearly defined on the edges. I can find my dobber. Where did that go? It's all about losing things today. I don't know what I've done with my other dobber, I'm sure it'll turn up, but I got a new one out, I thought I might as well. I probably used it to death anyway. Just get ink it up. Just a bit of vintage photo, just, just want to define those edges. And there. Right. Where did I make my? I've got to see the marks I made to make sure I put the. So I can put one there and one here. Is that going to work? I'll do it the other way round. That one there. That one there. Well, hopefully it will. We will see. I'm going to do the holes. <clears throat> so I'm just going to 
poke a little hole. I think I'll use my awl as I've got it, but it's easier to get hold of and poke a hole. Got a hole there. And a hole in the pocket. I'm gonna, <clears throat> before, I, before I forget, I'm going to ink along the edge of this pocket. in the middle of these. It could be a bit tricky because they're quite thick now. That's right, let's just go for it. Whoop. Not too bad. Having this nice soft book underneath makes all the difference. Alright, so now we need to choose a <coughs> choose a bread. I think I'm going to go pink. Yeah. Got quite a brightish pink here. Not that one. Okay, and this one goes through there. Right, so we're putting the music on. Cover that because it's inside the pocket. Here's the pocket, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll just put a bit of washi tape over that so it doesn't cap when we put things in it. Over there. Okay. Then we'll do the other one. going to <clears throat> just mitre these two corners as well. Sorry, these two edges. That's it. missed one. It's always the way. <clears throat> so how are we doing? So we've got that and we've got this. So I think I can put my pocket on now. Could 
it going either way, it looks really pretty. Either way around. Just a touch in the side. Yep. Like that. <clears throat> Actually, I'm wondering whether I've got my hole reinforcers. I should have put that on first, I don't know. <clears throat> Okay, so we've got <clears throat> we've now got the bones of what we're trying to make. So we're now gonna so we can flip this up once it's glued on. And I think that might be the best thing to do next because then I would like to perhaps put a few bits of paper on. I might put something across here. I think this will I'm gonna put this on next. Make sure I line it up. Come over a little bit. Burnish. Now I would like to put a little something <clears throat> behind here. Um, so there's going to be something going in the pocket. For instance, I have that tag which doesn't work, it's not the right colour. But I think it would take a couple of tags. Let's see what we've got. Got her, she's quite sweet, but she's <clears throat> she's not really a ballet dancer. She's more of a I don't know what she's really. Not quite sure she works in here to be honest. Um she is a little dancer. could go in there. Have I got any more? <clears throat> I've got more pockets than journal cards I think. So I have got some of the ones from the Stamperia pad. Almost tempting to make another flip up. <laughs> mm. Yes. Something like that. Well, see. 
<clears throat> I'm sure I can choose one or make one or two to go in there. But I've got a couple of these, so I wonder whether to make them into another. What else have I got? I've got this one and this one. Which one would work best in that background? That one. <clears throat> or could I flip it sideways? the idea of two flip ups. I'll try it. I'm now in the realms of I have no idea what I'm doing because this is, I didn't really think any further than trying to find something to flip up and what I was going to put inside. Not really any plan. So now I'm just making it up. Oh, do want to right through. It's not very such thick paper. Of Gail Agostinelli, let's ink and think. <laughs> oh, do a little, do a little roundy roo at the edge. No idea where I got that phrase from. I've never heard it before, and I've never said it before. <laughs> I'm just. Making up words as I go along now. This has taken a while to get to, so we may have to do a bit more work on this next week. Just because I'm kind of trying to figure it out as I go. I'll get as far as I can then we could have this like that and then have a couple of tags not necessarily these tags I've got this one comes with maybe these a couple of these or something I've got some nice tags with um, music background in the shabby dabby doo dark kit so I could pull a couple of those out so then you take those out and then you flip this up and then there's something else underneath. But what? That's the question. So writing space here. <clears throat> and something here. No. We need to figure out, don't we? Okay, <clears throat> a quick battery change and allow me to have a quick think about what I want to do. So I've now made a decision. That's how I'm going to do this. So that's going to go kind of there. And then I think we'll flip up and I'm going to have a belly band going here because I can use these nice um, pieces that I cut off from the front page, from the, from the flip up. It's so pretty. I mean, I could use either side, really. It's hard to know where to choose, but I think I quite like this side, which is actually, I think, the back. I don't know which side it was. No, there's probably the front. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to trim it. So I'll just use this central column, and then I'll choose the bits I want to use.
It's not as keen on this colour against this, but I don't think it matters too much unless I go for that top section. It's going to be too big anyway, so... I like that. I could put something on there. <laughs> right, so... I'll take that off, see if this is... Oh, you yeah. stupid woman, look, I've cut it in half. Oh, for goodness sake. That was not intentional. So I'll have to do that. I'm not used to where the... Um, I was putting the edge that I wanted to cut here, and I should have been putting it in the middle. I'm just not used to this. Cut that piece off now. And just cut this little edge off as well. It may still be too long anyway. Right. But it's got to go, it's got to be hidden under here, that's the thing. No, I'm going to take a little bit <clears throat> off each end. Can I fit now? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Crisis averted. Let me put that there. And this will go under here. That'll be there. And then I've got this little journal card that I'm going to tuck underneath. Like that, so you might you'll just see that poking out at the sides. I'm going to give it a little tab, I think. Did I put any tabs in my <coughs> bag of bits? I'm going to make a whale tail tab to pull it in and out. Uh, how does it work? That's it. Be able to use the bits of paper I've cut off so that I'll poke out the side. So let's do this. <clears throat> I'm going to back this onto some cream card and get this, this little bit finished.
right so there we are <coughs> we have the bones um it still needs a bit of decorating i'm going to put a few little bits of something in the background and obviously add will add lace and and finish finish it all off but we'll have to do that in the next video because i don't think we've got time to do that today um but yeah i'm really i'm really pleased with how it's turning out so yeah i think that'll be fine so thank you for joining me today and i'll see you in the next um the next one of these in a week's time and we'll finish this off okay bye for now